Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Insta Filter series. In today's video, let's have a look at an interesting technique to make your images look more glamorous. Let's start by adding a curves adjustment. Next step is to make a linked duplicate of it. We can do this from the layer menu. Excellent. We now have two curves adjustments which are linked to each other. However, I'm going to unlink the blending mode and ranges by using the links panel. If the links panel is not enabled in your setup, you can enable it at the studio settings from the view menu. To unlink the blending mode and ranges, I can click on the link button to remove the link. This will make sure that these two curves adjustment layers share the same properties, except for the blending mode and range. For the top adjustment, I'm going to set its blend mode to multiply. For the bottom adjustment, we are going to set it to screen. Excellent, that looks already much more interesting. Now, to give it that glamour look, I'm going to open up the curves dialog by double clicking on one of the adjustments. I will be using the lab mode. First thing I'm going to do is to increase the master in the center just a tiny bit. If you go too far, it will be too red. Next, a change in the lightness channel. I will click on the center, so this position gets pinned and I will lower the shadows and the highlights. As a final step, in the B component, I will adjust the bottom left and the top right. Have a look at that, just gorgeous. Easy peasy. Let's have a look at another example. I already have the two adjustment curves in the document. When I enable them, it gives a much more interesting image. Pretty awesome. Let's turn off the adjustments and enable another image. Wonder how this will look? Let's see. Wow, that is pretty awesome. If needed, we can still adjust it. For this image, I'm going to increase the brightness a bit using the lightness channel. And from the master channel, I can either make it warmer or cooler by moving the midpoint. I can also achieve a similar effect by adjusting the B component. The fun part of this technique is that both the curves adjustment layers share the same curve and combining them in two different blend modes creates this interesting end result. I hope you liked this video and if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching and until the next video, keep safe and be creative.